Hello everybody and welcome to Focus. No, I, I said Focus. Yeah, that's better. Yes, hello everybody and welcome to Focus. This is a seven part mini series uh, with some exploration and puzzles thrown in too. Hint, hint. I guess we're going that way at some point. Uh, yeah, this was made by Clunky One and recommended by Clunky One. So thank you very much Clunky One for pointing me towards this and the ominous music starts. Um, we got a collection of boxes. We've also got a turret, but thankfully it is the defective variety. But this is Aperture, so trust nothing. You you face the wall. Thank you. All right, uh, I also notice an arrow here and blood. Probably from scraping through there, right? That looks kind of sharp. But there's also this one. Also this little hole here, and there is stuff up there. But no portal gun, so I guess you want me to crawl through here? I'm gonna get tetanus. But okay, uh, let's go through them. We've got a door, we've got a door and a button. Button, I'm guessing, does a door. Button does indeed do door, but button is a temporary door. I uh, can't do much else in here, though. Um, I'm guessing bring a cube through, right? Or bring a few cubes, at least. This is a very cube kind of shaped tunnel. So I imagine a cube will, in fact, fit. Um, I guess we get to pick. Well, you don't get to play with these all that often, so let's take this one. Alright, you go sit on the button. Yeah, that's it, you clip through there. You go sit on the button like that. And we've got a small little office with a portal gun. Okay, fantastic. Alright, we have a portal gun. We are effectively portaling successfully. What, what are we? What are we? What are we? We are... We are bendy. I should have done that somewhere a lot more visible. Uh, let's do it there. And... Ah, oh, that floor doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Uh, we can... I'm assuming we're bendy. Uh, we can now use our portal gun to go through up here, right? Because you are a portalable service. Service, surface. And that looks like... Yeah, it is. Cool. Uh, up here we've got uh, another little observation room. Yeah, I like that little... You can't always spot these things, but I did have a big arrow. Um, observation room. Bullet holes. Broken glass. Can I break that out a bit more? No, is that goo? No. Can I move anything? Can I... Is it a pick up a chair? It is a pick up a chair. That's not a word. It is a chair that you can pick up, which means I'm going to play with a chair. Uh, can I get in here somehow? That looks like a surface. It is. And you are a surface. Do I need anything else in that? based testing remains an important tool for science. It does. Even in a dire emergency. What's the emergency this time? Is that not enough chairs exist? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, okay, what have we got in here? We've got a button, which does a cube. Well, cube and button based testing is commencing, so you go on there. Oh, that's giving me a light bridge. Well, let's go up upon our light bridge, shall we? Uh, if I go up here, there we go, but it like that. And we're going to need the cube up here. What did I put a cube down there for? To get the light bridge. So is there a panel I can... Yeah. Let's grab you and you and grab you from there. You get to sit on here. And I do like this uh, sort of derelict, very tight spaces. This is like, these are the passages that Aperture employees would have used. The Fizzler's a little bit wonky, but all of Aperture's yeah. bloody wonky, isn't it? Ooh. Well, that's a tempting cube. Um, there's a lot of blood in here again, though. Why is there so much blood? And this is a surface I can portal. Okay, let's get that cube, really? Okay, we're going down then. This is a really bloody long drop, but there is light. Oh. Ah, is that my blood? That's... Oh, thank fuck they're defective. Yeah, luckily every turret so far has been defective, and this guy... This guy's having a little boogie. Yeah, look at him go. Yeah, is that my blood though? Because that was a really long drop, and that might have, you know, squished out of my ankles. Uh, what have we got other than... Oh, you're finished. You're done with your little dance, are you? Okay, we have a bunch of cubes again. Nice selection of cubes, old and new. Filthy, always, always filthy. Uh, bloody panels. We've got a door. We've got, we've got a place to burn these guys. You go in there. Nope. Burn, burn. Thank you. Thank you, and you as well. Ah, that's better. Always just, just makes the place more homely, you know. All right, we've got you. You need a laser. You are panels. Let's have, I don't know, a portal gun. There it is. Before I saw it. Alright, uh, up there and up there. And we're going to need one of you to go there. Which has done the door. 
which has given us a fizzler. There you go through there. I think that might actually be the first time I've ever put a turret on fire through a fizzler. All right, next small room gives us a button. Let's press it. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Yeah, these are defective though. That all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. share. I do like that line a lot. Yeah, and they're all defective uh, so far. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not defective. Uh, uh, uh. You gotta humor them sometimes, you know? It's not their fault. It's the way they were made. But I do get to do this again, and I don't know why I do find this very satisfying, because they don't just blow up immediately. You just get to roast them for a while. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got a bunch of panels. we got our door up in that direction, and laser receptor, and a button. Which probably activates that tube. And we get up there with the the classic portal maneuver. The classic. We can. Uh, we can press the button then. Which does indeed give us a reflection cube. Which we're going to need to reflect into here, right? So let's have a blue there. And an orange down there somewhere. And you guys are going to have to move for the... Ow. Ow. Don't burn me just because I burn you. Right. That's better. Right, so then you can go in there, which does the exit, which is actually still up there, so we've got to get back up there. Let's put a blue there, then uh, let's move you over a little bit so I have a little place to work with. Orange there, blue as high as it will go. Classic portal maneuver, like that. Then if I replace everything, like that. Now, I guess they can stay there. We've already seen what happens when you put a burning turret through a fizzler. We got a door to here. That sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. Uh -huh. All safety devices have What's been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Yeah, there's no one, no one around to hear them though, is there? There's this door here though. I mean, I know that one opened up, but floor door. Do you reckon if we actually loitered for 20 minutes, it would open? That'd be a very boring video. Let's go this way instead. Uh, in here, we are confronted with the deadliest of goose. Laser, light bridge emitter button that I'm going to immediately press. Which gives us a cube, which will drop... Are you an auto cube dropper? You are the automatic kind. That's convenient. Uh, I guess we, we want to get one of them. Can I go grab it from here? Can I grab it from here? No, I cannot. We are going to need at least one of them, though, to sit in here. Uh, what else have we got going on? We can go over there, can't we? can do you and I can grab you from here you please you please thank you all right let's stick you in the receptacle back here like that which gives us a light bridge all the way to the door but the door's gonna need the door needs the laser so we got a laser back here we've got anything else to work we've got panels uh, I just need a cube over here right so let's go orange like there Let's go blue there. Then if I grab this same cube, because it appears we can only have one, let's go and reflect you into... Hey. Okay. Uh, did I fuck up? Can I have another cube, please? I believe I've made a mistake. Right, you. Then like that. Then you do... Hmm? Okay, obviously something's not quite as I thought. That does connect to the door though, but apparently it also does the same job as that. I bet you that door's opened up. It's that kind of map. I bet you that door has opened up. Um, should I take a cube? Let's see if we can take a cube. Let's, let's take a cube just because we can. I bet that door's open now. And also I want to take a cube to stop this noise. Thank you. Right, do not activate the thing, do not place in button, do not pass go. I bet you this, yeah, look at that. It's that sort of map. It's another big ominous drop. Cube, test it for me. Report back. Apparently it's fine. Uh, oh. Where did you guys come from? I distinctly remember dropping a cube down here to check ahead for me and it's turned into a bunch of defective turrets. Luckily, they're still defective. I mean, so far, every turret has been defective, and I'm guessing at some point we're going to come across a turret who is, in fact, fully functioning. A little bit more blood in here. I'm assuming every long drop, I'm just losing just a little bit more blood squirting out. Um, oh, 
There's my portal gun. Alright, we've got a portal gun. We've got a big door on the wall. We've got these guys. Uh, we also have a big switch on the wall. I'm guessing big switch equals big door, right? Big switch, big door. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting it quite that quick. But there is the functioning turrets that I alluded to 10 seconds ago. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them quite that quick. Um, can I... Can you get out of my way? I'm trying to cower in the corner here. Get out of my way. Out the way. Yeah, I know you're there. I'm, I'm trying to see what I can do to get Pat. Are you shooting each other? That's it. Shoot each other. That's not going to do anything. Although I do like hearing him hurt. There's a panel there though, right? So if we go out here... There now immediately to my left... Is there a panel behind? No. There doesn't appear to be any... Yeah, you, you're the ones with bullets. I know, I know, I know. You got bullets. Uh, right, so we got a bunch of turrets with bullets this time. We've got a laser emitter. We got that room that we were just in. Uh, do I get past them? I know. We will use turret against turret like the Romans did. Right, you. You go mess them up. Did I get anyone with that? No, I did not. Okay, let's try again. We get a couple more attempts at least. Yeah, I know. I know. You can see me through the gap. Mess him up. Are you done? There's at least still one of you, isn't there? There's still bloody two of them. All right, you. You. You're my last hope at this attempt. So, uh, fall over. Everyone fall over. Are you done? They're done. Okay, cool. Why did they get bullets and the other guys don't? Doesn't seem fair somehow. Uh, we've got, now got a big writhing pile of turrets. Can you get out of my way now, please? Because I've just noticed that you guys were... Can you get out of my way? Damn it. Just, just move. You guys were out of the way. You guys were defending a button, which does... It does... A laser into some walls. Into some wooden panels that are blocking me. There's a laser reflection cube in there, though. Okay. Uh, we got a laser reflection cube. I can see a fizzler. How do I... Can I pull them off? I smash through head first? No. I can pick you up. Can I pull them off? No. Um... Do you do any... How long do you stay on for? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, cracking noises. That's that's a good sign, right? You, I need you to make that happen again. I can hear it, like, creaking against it. Am I not doing something right here? You sit just there. Is that damaging them? Can you go here? Ah, the bloody turret's in my way everywhere. Let's get rid of them. Get rid of them. You go in there. Maybe they're messing up my laser. You go through there as well. Let's try that again. That made it go. Oh. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's a very nice way of doing that. Uh, that means... Yeah. I'm guessing we need to do the same here, right? Let's put you there. And let's press you again. No, bloody turrets. Let's press you again. Did that pop those off? Ow. Yeah, it does. Nice. I right, got a fizzler. Which means I could... Nah, I'm not bothered with turret cleanup at the moment. And uh, through the Fizzler we have... An incredibly dark, scary space. Is is there floor? Is, is is there floor here? I can hear Catwalk. My very dark... Oh, oh hi Kay, thanks for the lights. Here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Okay, okay, thank you for turning the lights on. Um, there's an actual elevator over there. I'm guessing that's where we want to head, but with this map, I, I, I just don't know. There could be another floor door. Uh, let's head this way. Those kind of look like wonky, ever so slightly sketchy stairs. Very creaky. And go around here. Now what's down there? Down there is a panel. There's a button. And is that a light bridge emitter? It looks like a light bridge emitter. Um, I can make that, right? 
Ah, I don't even have to jump. Cool. Right, up here we've got another button. A button that does... Does... That's a light bridge down there, is it? Ah, the light bridge at a funky sliding angle up to... Now that looks like one of the old school tube droppers. That's going to drop me a cube with this button, I'm guessing, right? So, button. That does in fact drop a cube. And there's deadly, deadly goo down there. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks for letting me know. Um, ah, slide cube down, right? That makes sense. So, we'd have to be really quick about it, which is what these are for. Let's stick you there. And stick you there. Then if I do that, and I get on there quick enough, cube... Jammed. The cube has in fact jammed. Catch it? Nah. Alright, try again. So I need to time that a little differently. And actually hit the button before going through would help a lot. Actually hitting the button before going through would help a lot. Please ignore my inability to press that button. Can you go, like, out my way, then? Let's do this. Nope, I think that went in the goo as well. Alright, timing, as we all know, is not my strong suit. Cube. Alright, and you go down there. And... Yeah, okay. There's a cube down there now. Uh, you. And you. And I should just be able to go and see what this button does. This button does. Something. Oh, has that made a light bridge up there? Has that given me another? That has given me a light bridge. Don't need you anymore. So we've got a light bridge to an actual elevator, which I'm guessing might plummet. Like every transition so far has been a plummeting transition. There's an office chair there. The lonely office chair. Um, are you going to drop me? Are you going to be one of those creaky busted ones? Let's find out. Up or down? Up, or, oh, ooh, up, up, we're going up. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's our first fully functioning and safe elevator ride of the series. I was honestly expecting that to just drop. Usually they drop. These old rusty ones kind of have a habit of doing that. Uh, in here, we've Only got, oh, we've got Cave. Hi, Cave. We are in here, too. Rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. No. That's asbestos. Yeah. And that would explain why it's so bloody itchy in here. Asbestos is fucking horrible. I learnt that the hard way when I was a child and discovered that one of my dens was actually built on a pile of asbestos. So, uh, what do we do with this? We could wash the asbestos off. Yeah, that helps. Um, we got the white. The white? We've got the water. Why white? I don't know why I said white. We've got the pure, pure water that's usually for washing gels off. And we've got the bouncy blue gel over there. We've got a cube dropper there, and is that an exit? It looks like our exit might be there. But then there's also an elevator all the way over there. And I just noticed a button. Let's see what the button does. The button does... That button delivers us a cube, and it let us notice this button. That is ominously on its own little platform all the way over there. Uh, is that what this connects to? That does appear to be what this connects to if we hop up here. You can see what this button does. This button does... Hey. Oh. Oh, okay. This swaps the gels. Alright, so if this is held down, we get the glorious bouncy blue stuff. And if we're not on it, it swaps back to water and washes it away. That's what we need that cube for. Let's get that cube and hold that button down then. And then... Can I actually get it out of here? Yes, I can. Okay, let's go stick that over here, and then we get some of that bouncy gel. Is that a panel? It might be a panel. We might be able to reposition the bouncy stuff with that panel. If it is indeed a panel. It's not a panel. I don't know why I thought it was. You could clearly see it wasn't when it was being washed away all the time. Uh, okay, what do I want to do now? I've got you, which will bounce me somewhere that I don't want to go just yet because I don't know where it is. Uh, up there. That's where we came from. That is pretty certain death down there. Don't see anywhere else to go. Alright, let's try some bouncing then. We may well be coming back to the elevator in a moment. Uh, where, where would I even go? Like, here? Here? 
stand on the light? I could land on that light, maybe. I reckon I can get on that light. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I reckon I can. Okay, I'm going to keep trying that until it's clearly not what I'm supposed to do. No, no, don't, no, don't, don't screw me now. No, don't screw me now. There's a lot of goo down there. Damn it. Right, I know I can get up there. Then I reckon I can walk onto there and maybe get to that door. Onto the light. Yes, onto the light. Right, up here. Yeah, that looks like somewhere I'm actually supposed to go. Cool. I'm not just being an awkward idiot. This is actually a direction we can go. Onto the tube. Then are you a real door or are you a fake door? You're one of those real fake doors. Let's uh, see where this tube goes because there's more. Ah, there's a button back here. You may work with robots, but can you take a bullet like one? No. No, I cannot. I'm made of the squishy flesh stuff. You. Has done. Something. Try not to fall in the goo here. On there. Oh, oh, yep, yep, okay. What did that do? Did something... Ah, oh, okay. It actually opened this door. It's not a real fake door. It's a real, real door. And here's got the speed gel. And more of the deadly, deadly stuff. we got another door up there. we got a button up there. Well, what are we working with here? We want to go up there, don't we? Uh, uh, that means... Speed gel track? Speed gel track. Speed gel track. Let's get a nice path of that. Because whenever you are working with aperture gels, you want to make as much mess as possible. I don't know why. I just find it very satisfying to make as much mess as possible with the gels. Uh, then you had a panel, didn't you? So let's put blue up there. Let's put without falling in the gel. Let's put orange right there on the marker. Then stupidly black into the fizzler. Let's put that back there. Uh, you're still up here. No, because you would have gone away as well. Yeah. Try not to do that again. I was going for a run-up, and I don't think I actually need a run-up. Then fly up into there. That turns everything off. How do I get to there? Can I get through here? I can get through here. I was actually expecting an invisible wall on that one. You. You do. You do the door. And I'm guessing you do a cube? You... Did you drop a cube back there? You did, didn't you? You dropped a cube all the way back there for me. Wait, can I get there? Yeah, there's a cube back there. Alright, let's get that cube. Probably should have checked how big that was before jumping across. Luckily we made it. Alright, then on there. Then uh, there. Then do not walk into the fizzler this time. Take the cube through the speed track. Came very close to destroying it. Luckily I fought ahead there. Which is good for me. Normally I'd be completely oblivious to that happening and question it. I actually managed to spot it ahead of time this time. Right, in here now, we're back out into the big bit, right? We are, and I guess we are trying to go that way. There's a little bit of a podium there. And we got more of the bouncy stuff, so I'm guessing you're going to hit that little bit. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a big faithful fling over in that direction. And there's a panel down there for me. Well, that means we're going this way. Uh, please say I make it. Yeah. Some all the way up here. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. I'm also very, very flammable, and that further explains why it's so itchy in here. I'm covered in asbestos, and my veins are pumping pure gasoline. All right, that was Focus Parts One through Four. I'm going to go ahead and leave this series here, and we'll continue it in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one.